In a previous episode of Doctor and Digest, we covered the commander's critical information requirements. Also in our podcast series, Breaking Doctrine, we go further into the discussion. So go to Apple, Google, and Spotify and download that episode. And since we've started a series on reconnaissance and security, we need to go over the Priority Intelligence Requirements, or PIR. A Priority Intelligence Requirement is an intelligence requirement that the commander and the staff need to understand the threat and other aspects of the operational environment. Now, the reconnaissance formations are the eyes and ears for the commander. They answer the commander's PIRs. The PIRs then drive decision points. Furthermore, the PIRs are then refined into groups and indicators. Indicators are items of information that reflect the intention or capability of an enemy and or adversary to adopt or reject a course of action. Grouping these different indicators helps narrow down the focus so that the commander can then determine the best course of action. And once we have these groups and indicators, then the team assigns specific information requirements, or SIRs, by matching them to a capability. SIRs provide information about a specific threat, activity, or lack thereof at a specific location. Here's an example. We have our priority intelligence requirement. Will the enemy attack within the next 72 hours? That's our PIR. Then we group those. First, group one is if they are positioning air defense artillery assets. An indication of this, or an indicator, is if there are any 23s present. Now to determine this, we need to know some specific information. So the SIRs could be to report any transmission across the J frequency band. Another could be report any light tracked vehicle with a satellite dish. The second grouping that feeds the PIR could be the positioning of fires assets. The indicator is if there are three or more BM-21s. The SIR could be report wheeled vehicles with rocket tubes and to report tracked artillery. All of these information requirements feed into and help answer the question the staff and commander are asking themselves. Will the enemy attack within the next 72 hours? Now there may be some more things that aren't listed that you feel feed into the PIRs or that feed the SIRs and those are all the things that reconnaissance units are looking for. Remember, eyes and ears for the commander. You should be able to find these in the execution section of your op order. So discuss this with your team. What are some typical PIRs you may have for your unit? For more on this, open up FM 3-98 Reconnaissance and Security as well as FM 50 Planning and Orders Production and ATP 2-01.3 Intelligence Preparation of the Battlefield. And you can download all of your doctrine from the Army Publishing Director website at armypubs.army.mil.